Hello guys, welcome to Pokédex. This is another Excadrill deck. Uh, as you guys know, I love this dude, so let's look into another deck with it. It's going to be... Excadrill is actually going to be the main attacker for this deck. Um, it grabs the energy and attacks. We start by dishing out some damage. We are playing Rainbow Energy because of Verizin EX, and also because of our second attacker. I'll get there in a second. Uh, and because Excadrill can grab energy from our deck, not only basics, but uh, special energy as well, we are playing double colorless energy, um, which has two purposes. One of them is to... Ha so basically Excadrill can grab th uh, any two energy, right? So imagine that we grab uh, rainbow energy and another water, if we already had one, not wa one water on it, that would be the three energy that we would need for Maclaw, right? But if we actually do that with a um, double colorless energy, we are taking less energy out of our deck. So that means with less energy slots, we actually have more attackers that we can activate, so to speak, during the game. Uh, the second thing that DC does in this deck is to pump up Untail's attack. This guy does 20 damage for each energy attached to our Pokémon. So it's like a mini guard Mega Gardevoir. Uh, takes less energy to attack, but also does uh, less damage. But it's also any kind of energy, not just fairy. So we can actually grab double colorless energy of our deck and then use Untail to dish out a lot of damage. I'm playing less Untails than I am playing Excadrills because it's like a later kind of deal. So hopefully we start with Excadrill and do some damage. There's also Verizon X. This guy deals with Toads and with Lasers. And there's Jirashi X to smooth out our draws a little bit because we are playing Pokemon Fan Club, which kind of sucks. But if we can grab a Jirashi and then next turn grab another supporter, it's like you're using Skyla and grabbing an extra Pokemon at the same time. So that's cool. There's a computer search to help us set up. There's Force Switch because we don't really want to discard energy to uh, make the best out of Untail. There's also Four Muscle Band because this is a really aggressive deck. And then there's the usual uh, cast of supporters, with the exception of teammates, because I think it works really fine here, because it might grab uh, second uh, stage one, and also an energy that we might need to attack. So let's just try the deck out, see how it goes. How it goes. This deck, I think, is a little worse than the, the Aromatis build just because it's less flexible, we can't move the energy around and we can't heal our Pokémon. That kind of sucks. That forces us to attack with weaker Pokémon. Okay, so Manaphy and Kyogre EX, and also Kyurem. Let's see what I can get going. I think I'll use this computer search and grab Probably a Pokemon fan club, because the next turn I can just seek a more. Tree coin. Huh, we're going to see flips. Don't really know what's coming from my opponent, so let's just go and grab the Pokemon fan club that I just talked about. Because it's a wonderful supporter in the early game. Let's grab a Drillbur and... And... A Another Clampert, maybe? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, I think we will have some time to set up, actually. So let's just do this. Let's play this thing here. And end our turn. Next turn we can switch, hopefully evolve. Let's see what the game... Okay, so this guy searches... I don't really know what's going on with my opponent's deck, because he's playing really weird cards. So this thing charges the Pokémon if you flip coin. Oh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, you're flipping coins to put energy, to charge energy. Yeah, I, I actually like that. I think it's quite interesting. Okay, so, but he's not doing any damage, so my opponent is probably going to reflip. And <laughs> he's not lucky at all, so I think I'll just play an energy here, switch into Drill Burr, hopefully draw an extra drill, and we do not, but we do grab the um, ball there, so that's cool. Huh, I think I will discard the Lysanders, because I want to 
save as much energy as I can, or maybe... Yeah, I don't think I will be ending, but you never know, right? Okay, I'll just grab the Excadrill, put it down, I can kill this thing and end... Well, I can't kill it, actually. Yeah, that kind of sucks. So I think my opponent is not going to attack us next turn, so I think I'll just dredge for a, a million energy. And hope we get an untail next turn. Okay, yeah, I'm going to risk all of this energy. Let's see <laughs> how things go. Maybe this is too risky, actually. There's already 7 energy. 8 on, our, on my dudes, which means an extra energy puts us on the... Um, 9 energy range, which kills 180 HP Pokemon. Oh, but my opponent evolves immediately into 240 HP. Okay, there's 2 energy. Okay, so we can evolve into one tail. That's cool. Let's do that just now. Okay, we have Huntail, and we have another one coming, and let's grab a Sycamore. Hopefully you can grab a switch here. There's actually several switches, which is cool. So let's just go with Huntail and start dishing out some damage. I won't play the Pokemon Fan Club because I might need it. So, Powerful Storm. Bam, 180 damage, that's super cool. We can deal 200 damage next turn. If we actually grab a double colorless energy, which there's no other in our deck, if I remember correctly. So we cannot one hit KO this Primal Kyogre, which sucks. But I think we can hopefully have our other attacker going. So Yeah, we have a teammate, so we can grab. We do not have the teammates. <laughs> Forget what I just said. I'm going to deal a lot of damage to that guy. Okay, some energy going into his bench. Okay, let's grab our... Do I grab here? So I can... I think I discarded both of these dudes and just grab... Oh, I don't have... Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that's a big problem. I don't have the clamper anymore, so... Ugh. Yeah. Okay, uh, Sycamore, I guess. Okay, hopefully I can kill this guy next turn with my Excadrill. And I have a teammate, which doesn't really help me here, because I put all my energy on my Excadrill. <laughs> okay, so my Excadrill is going to kill his Primal Kyogre, but then his Curum is getting really scary, because I can't move energy around, so I have to find a way to do this, so... So, I, I think the only way I have to move energy around is to... Lysander's Trump card, which is there. Okay, that's cool. I can do that next turn. Okay, okay. Not everything is lost, so I will just grab the... Um, teammates and play it. Because I need to grab this and this. Okay. Let's put this thing here. And now let's just hit this guy. Oof, I should have. Okay, it wouldn't make a difference actually, so I'll just make lot twice. Okay, there's a rainbow, which means another attacker. The fact that my opponent is only killing Nani Axes is super good right now. Okay, there's a teammate.
yeah, maybe it was a mistake to go all in with the Excadrill plan because I ended up not dealing that much damage. Maybe I should have just gone for, I don't know, two double callless, maybe, something like that. Yeah, that seems fine. I wish I could draw like a muscle band here. I don't, but I will have to play the Lysander Strump card, unfortunately, because I have to shuffle energy into my deck again. Okay, maybe should have gone for the teammates before. Yeah, okay. That's done. What's done? It's done. It's done. So, okay, we have to grab this and this, and then just Maclaw for twice the damage, which will unfortunately not be enough. But hopefully next turn we can seek a more all this nonsense away and just kill his Kirim and grab another attacker. Which has to be another Excadrill, I think, because that Kyogre is getting scary. Okay, escape rope, that's kinda... okay, so he's going to start charge up his second Kyogre, okay. Oh, he's just going to evolve and give us an attacker here, okay. What can I do with this? I can kill his dude. I can't kill his dude. Uh, yeah, I think I'm okay with that, actually. Let's just play everything that we can here. That just means we'll have more damage on the table next turn. Okay, this is enough. And now let's just mech law this guy away. So now he probably kills our dude. But then we have Huntails on the ready. So he's going to kill our dude. And if he does not have this guy ready for combat... Okay, what is he going to grab with the Scala? Maybe Professor's Ladder to charge up his, mega, his Primal Ky Kyogre? It's not a Mega, it's a Primal. Sorry about that. Okay, so there's the Battle Compressor. I don't really know what is compressing here. I don't really know what my opponent's plan is, so he grabs two energy and the energy retrials for it. Okay, so that, that's a way to charge up a guy, I think. Okay, so I don't really want to end now. I will be dealing some damage to this Primal Kyogre, though. So let's just evolve this thing. Let's play this one. Also a Muscle Band, because why the hell not? Oh boy. Yeah, I think if I draw a switch and an energy, yeah, I can actually go with Huntail, and I think that's better here, because that's just more energy that I'm saving. I think I'm... I think I'm thinking right. So I think that's what I will do. Let's see if we have... Another Huntail. Yes, we do. That's cool. Let's put it down. Also this thing here. Oh, but I can't retreat. Yeah, that sucks. I don't even know what I do here. My guys won't be dealing that much damage next turn. So I think I just... Yeah, I think I'll just make lot twice. Whatever. We have a Lysander. So hopefully you can kill the Manaphy if my opponent does not end me. So that's kind of the plan now. Should have played the, the Muscle Band also. Because... Or not really, because I might need to play it on this until No, I don't think so. I think... Okay, my opponent did not end us. That means we will win here. Because we can grab his Manaphy and kill it. So it was too late for my opponent. That's cool. Totally fine with that, with that outcome. So I'll just play this thing here, play this thing here, 
grab his mana fee and crunch. Bam. Any damage. We win. Okay, I, and I get to discard an energy. That's cool. Okay, let's just go for another quick match. Oh, Toad Slurpuff. That sucks, man. I <laughs> This is probably going to be a really boring match. I hate grabbing Toad as an opponent in this type of matches, because it's just too boring, I guess. Let's take the time to just grab some more and I don't have the reason for the lasers or anything really, so let's just put these guys down and just pass the turn, I guess. Okay, there's the floatstone, there's the verbank, of course. Which, okay, I was going to say it didn't really matter because I could just evolve my Trilbur, but now I think if we don't grab the. We might not grab the. So my opponent attacks. So we might be looking at a very, very quick game here. So this is what I'll do. I'll put this energy on this tooth. Because I'm going to switch into it. Because if I draw a drill where it's the same, right? And I'm going to seek a more because I want to draw the most cards I can. So we did not grab the, the muscle band. That kind of sucks. But... Oh yeah, but this guy is weak, so I guess that's game. Okay, cool. That's a uh, Toad deck that we just dispatched. <laughs> so let's grab another match. Who would have guessed that uh, being a metal type Pokemon will actually hit so many things like Kirim and fairy type Pokemon. We do not start with a, the best thing possible, but I will be ending. Yes, I do want to draw a card, so I'm going to play an N. Don't want to use my muscle band here. I just wanna, yeah, I'll just end. Let's see what we draw. Hopefully, drillbers. We do not get drillbers. Okay, so let's just play this thing here and pass the turn because I want to get my energy drop. I think I smell a hard match. <laughs> At least my opponent is not going with Seismitooth. But he is probably going to do that next turn. So hopefully we have... Plus Excadrill is really bad at dealing damage to Manetric. Yeah, don't like that thing at all. So let's just hope we draw Water Energy here. Or we get a Drill Brand Water, so okay. My opponent can deal 60 damage, which is not enough, so he has to play something else. I like that prospect. So yeah, I'll just use this thing and deal 60 damage. Better than nothing. I can add 60 damage to that account next turn and actually kill this Manetric if we can grab a double colorless energy and a muscle band. Oh, there's both of them. I like that. So granted... Okay, so my opponent can just heal off the damage. That's cool, I guess. He can also grab a muscle band and just kill my dude here. Let's see what he opts to do. Okay, so he goes for the energy. Probably got that off the computer search. And he does not kill our dude. That's awesome, because now we won't be killing his dude either. But let's think about this for a second. I just want to get rid of his guy there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 120, it's not enough. So maybe I just crunch. Yeah, but then he kills us, so it's the same. If I knew... Oh yeah, but I can't switch or anything like that, so I'd just rather play this thing here, I guess. 
Yeah, okay. And go for max damage, because he's going to heal 30 anyway, so I want to heal the most damage I can. Okay, I like that. 120. If it wasn't for the stadium, I would be killing his Manetric. Damned Rough Seas. Pretty cool card. Okay, there's a Muscle Band, there's a Sycamore. Is he going with a Toad now? Since he can kill our Huntail anyways. And he would be protecting his Manetric, plus he would be healing a lot of damage afterwards. So he's not. Okay, I'm going to grab a kill on his Manetric, it seems. I actually like that. So can I grab a... I actually also have an end, so that's cool. Just put this thing here. Let's put the muscle band. Yeah, I can go on this guy. He needs to, to charge up with Manetric, so I'll just grab an N. Play it. There's an Excadrill, that's wonderful. Also a Verizon, I guess. And also this dude, because you can always do something with it. Let's heal off the damage and... Oh, I want to grab something else. No, it's N's, which I already have on VS Seeker, so okay. I can crunch, which doesn't do anything, so let's just power Powerful Storm. He's most likely going with Seismitude. Yeah, I end, so I maybe gave him energy that I shouldn't, but I felt like I also wanted to draw cards there, so... Okay, Team Flare over there. Team Flare over there. It, re <laughs> it even rhymes, so... Let's see, let's see what I will do next turn. I can maybe grab a turn off and... If I draw an energy, I can grab his Kyrim and kill it. If I don't, I can just maybe Lysander out a Seismitoad and start dealing damage to it. So my opponent, I don't know. Yeah, he did not have energy, so kind of rough. For him. Because we play the Muscle Band, he can ki Oh, he's going to evolve into Mega Manetric. Okay, so he's definitely killing our guy. So I think I'd rather just grab a Seismitoad and start hitting that. <laughs> yep, I just play... Uh, I don't want to play this stuff. Okay, so let's just grab a Seismitoad and start dealing damage to that. Or maybe we should have just crunched. Yeah, I don't know. Just grab ourselves a seismitoad. I was trying to make time until we could get to... Oh, he's going to switch this turn. Oh, that sucks, man. We are in a bad, bad place now. Yeah, him killing our until is terrible here, but I guess that's what you what we get from playing <laughs> very very weak Pokemon. I will grab his Seismitoad again, I guess. Okay. I hope it charges this one. Because I want to grab this one, yeah. Okay. That's also an extra turn for us. Yeah, I'm really, really scraping the barrel here, so I'll just... That Mega Manetric is kinda scary. I won't lie. I will not lie. I think we are kinda doomed here, actually. I'm kind of torn between N and Sycamore, yeah, but I think I have to Sycamore. I have to find the most cards I can, but I will be discarding the last Huntail. So it's going to be hard. This game is going to be really, really hard. We have to trust in our VS Seeker. Oh, no, it doesn't really make a difference because he already has a lot of... okay. 
let's see, clamper, which doesn't really make a difference. Yeah, but we have this thing, I guess, so maybe it will, I don't know. Okay, we have one of these, which has a higher retreat cost, so... Oh man, I really need energy here. One single energy will suffice, but... It's kind of the worst that could possibly have happened. My opponent will just be healing damage, but that's not enough, I mean, if we can grab a switch, we can kill the Seismatoad anyways. And hopefully start charging up something else. Oh, but there's a Sycamore, so... It's kind of looking grim. Yeah, it's a very tough matchup for us, because these dudes just destroy all of our attackers. I was thinking that I made a mistake in playing the Headringer on my Huntail, but yeah, since he has Mega Monetric, it doesn't really make a difference. And now even his Seismitoads can just knock out my dude, so I guess that's that's game. Yeah, what else can we grab? So there's a switch, at least. <laughs> um, kinda late for it. Okay. Definitely too late for us. Doesn't matter, let's just carry our heads up high and take what we can get. I'm gonna make it as hard as I can for my opponent to kill me. Maybe I have a rainbow energy left in my deck, which means Verizin might be able to... Yeah, I should have... maybe... okay, it doesn't really matter. It's Mega Manetric I'm facing. <laughs> it's going to be tough either way, so... Let's just... I don't even know what I can do here. Guess I'll give him a drill board. Did I play the Jirashi? I did not. Okay, so we have a Jirashi. That's cool. I'm trying my best, guys, but it's not easy. It's not easy at all. This guy does nothing against him, so I'll just start throwing stuff at his face until... I can do something, which I don't think will actually happen. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely, I mean, yeah, maybe I can grab the Seismitoad, yeah, but then it just kills us, so it's no use, really. Let's just switch into Clampro, because I will not be doing anything with that ever. Also on my last Rainbow Energy. It's also useful to note. Just wish my opponent had played the Jirashi or something like that. Yeah, but actually this was closer than I thought it would be. I mean, between Lysanders and if we actually could have gotten some energy back into our deck, maybe we could have a chance here, but now... This guy is a really bad attacker against... Let's just kill his Kirim and be merry about it, and then it's game, basically. Yeah. We are so dead, man. <laughs> Let's give him a Verizian. Let's play the computer search and grab Via Seeker. Now play the Lysander Strump card, I guess. 
and just I don't know pray that we draw a sycamore because that's pretty much the only thing that could save us potentially but I don't think even that is enough well we did go down to one prize so I can't really complain and we won the previous two matches kind of quickly so yeah I guess my opponent just wins here but let's just yeah I'm, I'm curious I want to see what happens I hope it doesn't take like a million years to oh head ringer okay yeah we're just dead let's just concede and be the better man Okay. Yeah, uh, there's another Excadrill deck. I hope you guys enjoy this. I actually think there's a lot more decks uh, that we can do with Excadrill. Well, not a lot, but I think that I'll start looking into the competitive decks now, since all the crazy ideas are pretty much gone. Uh, but there's still other stuff that we can build with until because I think the guy has some potential like to be a late game attacker after we we've done a lot of damage it can come into play and start dealing one hit chaos with just one energy so maybe there's something to look forward I hope you guys enjoy this please give me feedback um, my Excadrill Aromatist deck is already my uh, video with most likes so thank you guys for that uh, that's definitely something uh, that I take as a something that you guys enjoy so i will try to do more of that uh well see you guys next time bye